Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this letter S shape logo. Let's open a new document, set the fill and the stroke to none, click on the line segment tool, hold, and select the rectangular grid tool. Then double click on it to open the dialog box. Set the horizontal and vertical dividers to 7. Now click, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the Shift key as well to constrain it. Next, select the Shape Builder tool, pick any color you like and drag across these squares to create a U-shape. Pick another color and make another shape inside the existing one. Now change the color again and create another U-shape facing the other way. Choose another color and make one more U-shape. Next we'll delete the white squares. First press and hold down the ALT key. Now click, hold and drag across all the white shapes. Select everything and let's make a copy. With the copied shape still selected, go to the Shape Builder tool again and connect these two shapes together. If you wish, you can change the color. Now connect the other two shapes as well. Next, make sure these two shapes are selected, then go to Object, Path and select Offset Path. Turn on the Preview box, highlight the offset number and using the down arrow key on your keyboard, adjust the offset to about negative 12. And we've got two extra copies. Next, we will delete the bottom shapes, leaving only the top ones. Click on the bottom shape and press the delete key on your keyboard a few times. Now do the same with the blue bottom shape. Select both shapes, group them together. Select the shapes on the left, group them together as well. Next select everything. Open the Align panel, make sure Align to Selection is checked. And choose Horizontal and Vertical Align Center. Now right click with your mouse and choose Ungroup. Then select the Shape Builder tool and let's delete the outer shapes. Now select a color of your choice and click on each shape individually. Next we'll add a gradient. Here is the color group I will be using today. Select everything and add a gradient. It is a simple two color gradient. Now switch to the direct selection tool and select the first shape. Then press the letter G to show the gradient annotator on the screen and adjust the gradient's direction. Select the other shape and do the same. And again. Now switch to the selection tool, select everything, group it together, hover your mouse over this corner, click, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the shift key as well to rotate it by 45 degrees. Next we'll create a shadow. Select the ellipse tool and draw a small circle. Choose the white and black gradient. Change the type to radial. Reverse its direction. Add an extra color stop. Delete this one. And change the opacity of the white color stop to zero. Now using the selection tool, bring the circle to a shape of an ellipse and place it at the bottom. You can always go back and adjust it even more. Now select everything, group it together and recenter it. And of course you can always add a background. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.